Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And as you all know, on this podcast, the focus is ultimately providing tangible self-help strategies for young professionals as you're matriculating through corporate America, as you're getting started in your entrepreneurship journey, wherever you may be, ultimately in regards to your career path, that's what the purpose of Speak Your Success is. And this past weekend, I was on Clubhouse. If any of you are familiar with this app, this is a new social app to where you have conversations with people all over the world. And as you're having these conversations, people can hop in, they can hop out, And then they even have something where they talk about it's a stage. So you invite people to the stage and then they can speak and then engage in conversations and have dialogue. So if you haven't had the opportunity to check out Clubhouse, I would encourage you to check it out. I was referred to it by way of David Shands after listening to his podcast, Real Social Proof, which I would definitely suggest that everybody check out. But enough about that. Now on to the focus of today's content. The focus of today's content, I want to pull from this specific article, which is entitled Understanding the Currency You Need at Work. And this article was written by Carla Harris. Okay, and Miss Miss Carla Harris, she is the vice chairman and managing director at Morgan Stanley. Okay, so she knows her business and business knows her very well. And she brought up two points uh, and, and, and she pulled these points from her book. And the book is entitled Strategize to Win. And the two phrases that she coined are performance currency and relationship currency. I'm going to say that one more time just in case you didn't have a second to grab a pen or pencil. But the form, per, the the f- terms are performance currency and relationship currency. And, and I'm going to define them. And then we're going to have a little dialogue about them just after this. But performance currency is defined as the currency that is generated by you delivering the work that was asked of you. So if somebody asked you to do something in the workplace, they asked you to put together a PowerPoint presentation, you knocking it out. That is what you consider performance currency, you having the ability to perform. okay? and then even in the article, she says it's by doing what's asked of you and a little bit extra. Right. There's just like going to Chipotle, you get the burrito, but then you're like, ah, everything is good on here. But I want a little bit extra. I want the guacamole. okay? I like the guacamole, especially Chipotle's. So every time that you deliver on. Every time you deliver above someone's expectations on assignment, you generate performance currency. That's a word for somebody out here today. And and she said the the three reasons that performance currency is valuable is because it will get you noticed and create a reputation. It will get you paid and promoted earlier on your career. And third, it can attract a sponsor, the most important relationship to your career. That's performance currency. And she says, while performance currency is worth a lot in the beginning of your career, on new work environments, over the time you start to experience the diminishing marginal return and the currency that becomes more important to you is the second one, which is relationship currency. We talked about performance currency. Now let's dive in on relationship currency. In relationship currency, Ms. Harris went on to define it as the currency that is generated by the investments that you make in the people in your environment. Relationship currency is the currency that's generated by the investments that you make in the people in your environment. So your boss, so your assistant, so your cube mate, so whoever it is you might do work with on a daily basis. She went on to say, none of us work in silos, but we are all working in highly interdependent environments. So at a minimum, you must have a relationship with every seat that touches your seat. If the only person that knows you and that knows you're doing a great job is your boss, then your ability to ascend is going to be vulnerable. 
That's because your boss may leave the organization. They may lose their seat at the decision making table or even they may lose your power. So, friends, today, what I want us to take away. Is doing a self-assessment. Are we just taking time to have and build and increase our performance currency or also are we investing in relationship currency and not just with the one who's cutting the checks, not just with the one who gives us assignments, but everyone around us? Because when we really take time and hone it in in whatever area of business and whatever area of life. I can attest to the fact that it is great to know more than one person that is in the room. If you know two, three, four people that's in the room and think if they take a vote and three of them say, oh, yeah, let's go with Sally. Let's go with John. Then you're in a better position. If you only know one person and that one person votes for you. Yes, let's go with John. There are three other people that can vote you out. So let's make sure that we take time and we're investing in to people we're investing into relationships and not just when we need something we'll hop on a call with somebody and take the time to truly connect we'll hop on a car with somebody and see how we can serve performance currency the ability to do your job the ability to do your work the ability to do what's asked and required of you and a little bit extra relationship currency connecting with people who are near your seat if you're in the entrepreneurship space connecting with people who are in your line of business as well as other lines of business because you should see the opportunity to serve or you should seek out the opportunity to to serve because this is the currency once again that's generated by the investment that you make in the people in your environment all right my friends i would encourage you to share this episode if it if it added any value to you, I'd encourage you to share this episode with just one friend that you know that it can help, that you know that it can inspire. I'm going to also link the article uh, that I found on LinkedIn in the show notes to make sure you can get that uh, get that resource and get the opportunity to fully read up on that. But until next time, my friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones just reminding you, get your performance currency up and your relationship currency up. <laughs> And of course, to speak your success, believe in your greatness and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you and why should you live any other way?